ओके डी स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस डू दिस क्वेश्चन एन ऑब्जेक्ट परफॉर्म्स सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन द ग्राफ शोज हाउ द वेलोसिटी वी ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट वेरीज विद टाइम टी एंड द ग्राफ इज गिवन हियर द डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इज एक्स एक्सलेशन इज ए वट इज द वेरिएशन ऑफ एक्स विद टाइम टी एंड द वेरिएशन ऑफ ए विद टाइम टी सो इट मीन्स दैट वेलोसिटी फंक्शन इज प्लॉटेड इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एंड यू नीड टू फाइंड द डिस्प्लेसमेंट एंड द एक्सलेशन so my dear students this uh, topic can be included in topic 4.1 as well as in 9.1 also so um uh, i would be giving you two methods for this one is for sl another is for hl now let us see what are, what are we going to do so <clears throat> first we talking about a simple method so you see here that when t is equal to 0 the velocity is maximum at t is equal to 0 the velocity is maximum and we know that in simple harmonic motion the velocity is maximum only at the mean position so it means that the body should be at the mean position at t is equal to 0 so these are the other options here and these options will be wrong like c and d both are wrong you see for t is equal to 0 the position is not at 0 and in d also the position is not at 0 so i can say that our answer comes in between either a or b i would say either a or b is the answer we are sure about this thing now let us move next now at the ex at, now this uh, now it goes to this position and the velocity becomes zero so when is the velocity zero in the simple harmonic motion only at the extreme position it means the displacement should be at the extreme position now the velocity was positive so it means it has moved towards right so it moved toward right and then it comes to zero so it is at the right extreme position so it should be reflected in our graph yes the displacement is positive in both of these cases so this is all, these are the same things so displacement is fine so let us now go to the acceleration graph so how are we going to do this in the acceleration time graph you see at the mean position when the velocity is maximum acceleration is zero so initially acceleration should be zero so it is zero here zero here and now uh it goes to the extreme position here and the uh, and the velocity becomes zero so we know that at this extreme position the acceleration will be towards this so acceleration should be negative isn't it because we have taken this fine convention this positive and negative so acceleration will be negative here only in this case the acceleration is negative so the answer will be a so this is how we can just think we can just imagine another thing is like let us say from this you have created the displacement graph and now you can say that acceleration is the negative of displacement it is directly proportional to negative of displacement isn't it so negative so obviously you create the negative graph of it you just invert this graph the positive side will become negative the negative becomes the positive hence the answer is a now this is the simple method in which the mathematics is not involved but let us go for the hl method also like we do in 9.1 now this is the velocity function so you can just compare it like velocity function is directly proportional to cos theta so it would be taken as v not cos omega t so we can just um, extrapolate this thing that on integrating it or let us say if you if you verify the data booklet uh, for the 9.1 topic it is given there that in this case the displacement will be given by x not sin omega t and if you further differentiate it the acceleration will become negative and it will come out to be negative v not omega into cos omega t anyways the things will be given they are given in your data booklet you can verify acceleration is given like this so from here also it is evident that the velocity function is cos so they have chosen this so obviously for the displacement we would be taking the sine variation and for the acceleration we would be taking negative sine variation and hence the answer is a so there are two methods that i have told you and you can understand the question by yourself like in whatever method you want so my students this is professor varun okay let us verify the question the answer from the mark scheme also yes the answer is a So my dear students please subscribe to the YouTube channel and share the YouTube channel with all your friends all the best